Let's go to Charlie Gasparino now. He's following a couple of other developments, uh, one having to do with Major League Baseball and if or when we see a season. And then the, the big issue, I guess, to lead off with is uh, the Justice Department and Google. Where are we on that? Yeah, and by the way, Neil, if you talk about having a disproportionate impact on the markets, uh, any any potential case, or depending on the severity of the case on Google, that could really hit the markets uh, hard. Uh, again, uh, Google is a huge company; it's a huge component of, of these of the markets. And uh, if the Justice Department goes after them aggressively, you know, you can see markets decline and as uh, with with Google stock. But here's what we do know: the DOJ is obviously investigating them. Uh, a lot of people saying they are moving toward some sort of a case against Google. Uh, the timing of that case now, we understand, given the uh, coronavirus, uh, the other distractions that the uh, Justice Department has <coughs> going into uh, going into a week of unrest you know, after the week of unrest that we had, if we understand that could delay it. So the the the, the summer timetable. They were supposed to come out with something in the summer. A lot of people thought it would be a case, given what the sort of signals that were coming out of the Justice Department and Attorney General Barr's office. But we're hearing that the the summer timetable could be pushed out. The other thing that's kind of unclear, and again, this is where the markets are hyper focused on, and including uh, including investors in Google, is just how aggressive will the the case be? Will it be a narrowly tailored case involving? Google's ad search preferences. Uh, that's very narrow. It doesn't encompass the whole company. It's not existential. It's just whether Google gives benefit beneficial treatment on ad searches to people that place ads on, on Google. Uh, that can be remedied without a major disruption of, of the company, or whether it's something larger, like their entire search uh, function, whether that to breeds anti-competitive behavior because it's not just ad search; it's a million other things that skews uh, ad search searches essentially to Google ways Google can make money and gain an unfair advantage over others and be anti-competitive as it relates to the consumer. So those are the two questions: when it's going to be delayed, how aggressive. I can't tell you exactly where we're going, where where they're going to come out on either of those. Silicon Valley, Wall Street watching this a lot, and they don't know. Uh, there's mixed signals coming out of the Justice Department in, in various speeches uh, on both. Uh, so that's where we are there, again there on Google. Again, watch this story. It's going to have a major impact on the stock and the markets. The second thing is Major League Baseball. We were first to report that the owners would have a proposal yesterday. They did. Uh, players threw some cold water on it. We understand that Major League Baseball is now expecting a counter offer from the players as early as today or tomorrow. Or tomorrow. Now, here's where it gets interesting, Neil. Um, the players are right now in discussions about a potential ca counter offer and what they're going to say, at least to the owners' latest demands, which was essentially you get 50 percent of your salary prorated over 75 games. You get 75 percent of your salary if we do the World Series. Um, the, the players saw that as a huge pay cut. They don't. Want, they didn't. They, they probably don't want to go for that. Here's what we don't know: Do the players come back and say, "Listen, we just want our old, the old uh, thing that the, the old proposal that we put out, which was essentially 100% salary with lesser games, uh, and something like 75, 80 games." Um, that will they come back with that, which the owners will say no to, and then if they do that, Rob Manford, the commissioner of baseball, is likely to say, "Okay." I'm just going to impose a hyper shortened season of 50 games, something no one really likes because it's barely baseball. It's barely mm. enough time to do anything and to celebrate the sport, to have the sport. Uh, I don't even know if you have playoffs with with that 50 games, uh, 50 game um, scenario. Uh, something nobody really wants, but he may do it, and it all depends on what the players come back with. If they come back with sort of a compromise on the 75. Maybe they want 90 percent. They settle at 80 percent of their salary, not 100 percent. Then you know that there's going to be – then you know there's wiggle room for negotiation. So, again, we're going to have to watch this. It could come today. could come tomorrow. They're, they're going to come up with something. I, I, I've, at least that's the word I'm getting from both on the player side and the, uh, and the owner side. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where it is. If, the, if, if there's a real negotiation, then you could have a real season. If there's no negotiation here – by the players, you could see Rob Manfred turn around almost immediately and saying, we're going to have a 50-game oh, yeah. season. Tough luck. Move on. Neil, back to you. Which would be idiotic. Let's say you win the World Series, but you'll have an asterisk next to your name because you won a 
game, you know, season versus 162 yeah. game season. Uh, I don't think I'm in agreement, stupid. but we're we're the mean? money, the rubber's meeting the road now on this, you know. So we'll know. Soon. Yeah, we're more we're more bocce ball than baseball, but still, yes, Charlie, um, it is. I'm a big sure you won the bocce yes. ball championship throughout your childhood. I I hear the training for well, bocce ball. Well, I'm not one to brag, but in the Cavuto family, yeah, you're looking at the champ. Um, I just want to know thank you, your my training friend. secrets. Good seeing you. <laughs> just, it's the same as curling a Subway sandwich. It just, it, <laughs> I'll explain it to you later. Charlie, thank you very right. much.